some editing out for you. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a person who works with his hands, and I would probably normally fit in most matters what would be considered a conservative profile in my outlook and my stance. In some areas, I'd probably diverge from the conventional conservative notions. Certainly, I'm not a right winger. That's a different thing altogether. And why I'm here is over the past 35 years, I've watched a systematic movement of wealth and possibility away from ordinary folks, coupled with an increasing, what would you call it, an increasing erosion of the land base, a destruction of the natural resources and the earth upon which we all depend. Now, from a, my view of conservatism, these would be the things we would care for. These would be the things we would that would matter most to us. There is a lot of talk about values, about these, these values from the past and all of that. And you know, a lot of it's just rhetorical stances being taken. But for somebody who would actually hold to those views, I think probably you'd have to be here. There's a lot of people that have a lot of diverse views, but having a lot of diverse views that are around a central theme is nothing like some sort of disorganized uh, people who don't know what they're talking about or aren't accurately concerned with real issues. All it takes is just looking and listening to the people that are here, and you'll see that. And why I chose to speak is to address that very issue and say, hey, we're from all walks of life, and we're kind of concerned about what has happened. And it's actually more recent than the, the banking cycle, which I think I would like to add. We should start using the right term for what has happened over the past five years. It has been a banking swindle. We should use the, those terms. That is the correct term. It was a criminal act, whether it was legal or not. It was a foul deed. We need to use the right words. We don't see it in the media, so we can start using it amongst ourselves and passing the word. It was a banking swindle. I'm done.